Hey everyone, welcome back to another Hancock Holly video. Today we're just going to get into the hive. We haven't been into it in a little bit and they are growing pretty rapidly. So I just want to keep a better eye on them as last time I didn't, they swarmed. So I'm just going to get my suit out and get the smoker ready. And uh, as I was kind of getting that going, I um, had our beekeeper yeah. mentor come out and uh, chat with me a little bit, explain the importance of lighting your smoker on green grass or dirt, um, not on wood chips or anything that's flammable. Um, and I'm trying to make this video a little bit more, I don't know, relaxed and not so laid out. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever seen a video by a YouTuber named Martin Doulard. He makes super beautiful videos. Um, they're a lot, you know, slower and uh, don't have, you know, crazy hooks or all those kinds of things. He just shoots great, beautiful cinematography and posts it. And I don't think I'm anywhere close to that due to the fact that many of my shots are out of focus and um, not nearly as stunning as the Italian Alps, which is where he's building um, his new home. But anyways, I'm just trying to make this a little bit more chill. Talk about the things that we're going to be using in the hive today and uh, go get into it. When I, I walked over there, I noticed um, our little green anole gecko was still hanging around. Don't really know if they eat bees or not, but if they're hanging around the hive, then there must be pests or bees that they're trying to get. The bees were really active today, and um, it was uh, nice to get in and see them, get some closer shots of you know just how beautiful the bees are and their little um you know, personalities and the way that they function. Gave them a little smoke in the front and started to open up the top of the hive. And pretty quickly, once we opened the hive, you could just get an overwhelming smell of honey. You know, they're right in the middle of summer and they had a great spring and they just have a ton of honey that they're storing in there. So I take it off. There's just a bunch that's exposed. I thought I'd get some close-up shots of the bees just enjoying that honey and eating it up. And next thing I'm going to do is just get into the, the hive, pull out some frames. I'm trying to just get an eye on um, some eggs in the cells and see if we can see the queen. Because if we know there are eggs and larvae in, in the cells, then we know that the queen's around. Um, this entire visit, we didn't really get a good eye on her, but we did take the oil trap and change it out. And then after that, we uh, looked at this frame and if you look really close, you can see a bunch of little white specks down in there. Those are the um, little eggs, little baby bees. So we got what we're looking for and uh, I'm just gonna close it up and we'll check on it again in another week or two. Thanks for watching, bye.